see? For the niggas that can afford it, y'all can hang out. But for the people that can't, you can't hang out, bro. Like, one, one last thing, bro. The biggest thing I saw about Trump from watching interviews, bro really function like a basketball coach. This is how I feel, right? Bro look at America like we in the playoffs to get the ring. So I, I don't really believe he's racist. I believe he's classist. I believe if you ain't got no money, he's just not fucking with you. Right. Bro, like, if you study the tax laws and the tax breaks, he looking out for the rich. And I think, like, when I hear people say that, they be like, oh, he only care about rich people. Well, look, bro, I'm not telling you to go hit the lotto tomorrow, but I'm telling you for the current times we in, if bro going to be the president, you might want to find a way to get some more money, bro. Like, stop fucking complaining and just adapt. Because to be real, bro, like, if to me, just what I take from his moves is like this. America America in a championship. Bro, if you if you was going to the finals, would you go get a motherfucker who was good at, at little in, in little league basketball? No. Nah. Mm -mm. You gonna get some professional players. So bro, I feel like he run he run he run the country just as a corporation as it is. All right. If y'all motherfuckers ain't elite employees, you gone. If you are, let's go. So and, and hey, hey. am I justifying <laughs> am I just, hey, am I justifying anything he do? Absolutely not. But what I will say is that bro is raising the bar. And for the people who don't find it important to invest in yourself to meet that bar, 2022 going to be some shit, boy. 2020, <laughs> no, 20, listen, 2021 is some shit. I mean, 2020 is some shit. By the end of this year, the separation is done. Right, bro. But by the end of the year, the separation is, like, this year is just, it's the, like, when I say the social distances is the, the, the rich at the top and the poor at the bottom, like, after right. this year, the sep like the separation is done with twenty twenty one and beyond. Nah, that's not like your family should have had already. Like even if you were a child growing up in it, you were supposed to be born in a family that was supposed to already be getting it. Yeah, you know I mean right. because you either go keep getting further and further, squeeze the fuck away from opportunity, or you'll get pushed further into opportunity because those who are maximizing on it is bringing you more money deals and more flow and more opportunity and you go keep getting bigger and bigger it's like growing a brand that shit was a luxury today right. it's a necessity bro got to <laughs> <laughs> y'all sit there and see bro put out content 365 days maybe about three pieces you know what i mean dropping goddamn 1500 pieces a year and you say okay that's i like what bro and them doing i ain't into the influential thing and now your dumb ass is forced to get into it just to sell a product because you're in a deficit right now. So it's and like, bro, I be telling people, right? Don't make, don't make your hustle. Uh, don't wait to become a hustler till it's your only option. Cause, bro, th this is the thing, right? A lot of people could be moving with a lot clearer head and have a lot more time on their side if they had to took heed to this shit a year ago. Mm. But right now. You got your babies in the back crying. They run around and tearing up shit. Your old lady looking at you like, what the fuck we gonna do? Then you got the fear mongers on the internet who's scaring the shit out of you every five minutes saying, the world finna end, martial law, yada, yada, yada. Bro, niggas is under a lot of pressure right now. But if a lot of them had to took heed on that shit, like, bro, just, I, bro, I, you know, like the example I gave you with the royalty check, like, it's 33 grand passively a year a lot. No, that wouldn't even cover my payroll. That covered my payroll for two months. But if somebody else in a less in a lesser position that don't have as much financial responsibility, bro, they could live. They could have been straight. Like, bro, I know people right now who at the crib who like, bro, no lie, right? I met up with a dude today that bought a post Trump pack. And I was like, bro, be safe out there. He was like, he was like, my nigga, I'm straight. I'm in the house. I make money from home, bro. I just only came outside to buy this pack. And I'm going <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I was like, bro, salute to you, my nigga, because you saw something a lot of people didn't. So many people were solely relying on either one stream of income or a disenfranchised entity. That entity has now shown like, are you disposable? And the CEO gonna save his ass before he saved anybody else's. So no, nah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like I say, like, I don't feel sorry for nobody. I ain't handing out no sympathy, but, bro, it's an unfortunate situation because a lot of people, it's unfortunate, bro. A lot of, just to be real, bro, a lot of people are not gonna survive this this phase right here. It's gonna take them 20 years to rewrite this one year that made them lose their house, their car, fuck up their credit, and they lost their job. And, and it's gonna be a lot of the entrepreneurs who really felt they shit was safe, too. 
and and, no. and and they seeing entrepreneurs like us just having a steady incline. They like, man, what the fuck is these niggas doing? I know a lot right. of people don't know what I be doing behind the scenes. They just, the keys just drop a couple of keys sometimes, and that right. ain't the reality. No, baby, I just I understand the game. I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> hey, if you bro. don't see me in the game, I'm trying to invest in a stadium. I'm, I'm or some of the equipment the basketball players is using. You understand bro, me? There's real. something happening behind the scene. Bro, I remember I put a post up, right? This late January. And and no lie, I didn't know the corona was going to hit like it was. I was like, hey, y'all. Bro, you know. Because you, you know, no. Because, yeah, you know. But I was like, hey, to all my independent entrepreneurs out there, go draw up a business contract. Start going to these recreational parks, these libraries, and these schools. And start telling them you got bulk masks for sale. Bulk, yeah. bulk hand sanitizer. Bro, I remember my nigga got in the comments, bro. He's like, nigga, you sound silly as fuck. Who the fuck <laughs> gonna take a nigga? Hey, bro, this nigga, bro, no lie. Niggas like, who gonna take a nigga serious walking up to a school as a grown ass man talking about I got masks for sale? Well, bro, go on Amazon. Hey, and I ain't blocking me. I hope he on his live. Take your ass to Amazon and see how rich these motherfuckers getting because they cashed in on this. On this controversy or take a look at the stock market and the politicians who sat down with the health department who made a certain place so they could tank the market motherfuckers done came up billions of dollars in three fucking weeks <laughs> but bro hey but look hey and it's the crazy shit right if you start selling the mask tomorrow for ten dollars a motherfucker gonna call you the worst human in the world but he gonna totally forget that you tried to put him on game the same day that you learned the right. game was like, hey, y'all get ready. Shit crazy, bro. And, and, and why the other big corporations, and them masks, usually it'd be like 10, 20 cents. But they selling them bitches at one twenty-five, two dollars $2, $3. They markup is incredible. You're not going to go to the source and tell them that they robbing because they understand that everybody, celebrities giving money away for philanthropy. Uh, governments already enacted the emergency funds. You understand mm -hmm. me? And then it's a seller's market, so every entrepreneur is throwing on five, ten cent just to get the deal flow done because everybody that has the money don't know how to find a mask. It's just Absolutely. another industry. That's what you right. gotta understand. Every time these things emerge, we get emotionally and morally attached to them, and that's how you lose in capitalism each and every time. Absolutely, bro. But bro, man, bro. I appreciate you, man. And and bro, just one more piece on that about paying attention. I, I'm I'm real enough to tell people. I saw the craze from Fortnite, and I knew then I needed to get ahead of the curve. Mm. I hit my project manager. I said, bro, let's let's get a game for PS5, Xbox, and PC. Let's take it home back into the video game world. And, bro, like, I know that's going to be another one of them monumental plays that's going to be like, God damn, this motherfucker 18,000 18, years ahead again. Yeah. And then shit. But you ain't, you probably right, though, bro. By 2022, they gonna have like a flying car that's low on the market. Yeah. I'm gonna figure out. Hey, I'm gonna figure out how to go. They gonna want that Grace Coop flying and shit. Go. <laughs> they gonna have a a, a, a Grace hoverboard. So I'm back in the game. <laughs> right, right, right. No, nah, that that's Absolutely. that's fire, man. And, I mean, that shit happened to me, man. With each one of my products, that people would be like, "This nigga got EMF chips and shit in there. Ain't nobody buying that shit." Here come right. everybody's afraid of 5G. Now everybody got to get one as a necessity. Same thing right. with the gold water, colloidal service, the products, naturopathic. Everybody wants the home remedies that they can tap into. So the, the the knowledge, the information, everything becomes essential. It's no longer it's no longer you being proactive with it. Now you're being reactive because of the problem is here right in your face. Yeah, and, bro, they asked me enforced. Yeah. Remember we did yeah. that video about 2020 vision, that shit. And then when, when you legally blind when shit got to be so up close that that's the only time you can see it. Your 2020 right. vision was supposed to you being seen able to see that shit so far away. You understand? You can prepare for it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> now that shit is in your face to see it right in the day clear. Like, oh, these right. brothers was essential. Like, damn, right. everything Derek was teaching, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention because I thought it was a luxury in my lifestyle because my boss was still paying me. The economy was at the best it's ever been. So I can, exactly, I, can, bro. I can choose between Netflix or Derek Grace tonight. Now it's like, I can only choose Derek right now because I might not be able to afford Netflix next month because they still right. taking money out my subscription and I ain't got income coming in. And, bro, one last thing, bro. The biggest part that people haven't realized yet is that I've grown a great deal because I attach myself to people that's doing shit that I'm not doing. Bro, like, again, for my 30th birthday, I had a $100,000 budget. 
I'm not gonna lie and say I spent everything responsibly. That'd be a lie. I definitely. <laughs> hey, hey, I, hey! I'm gonna just keep it a buck. I spent like forty grand that shit on jewelry. <laughs> but, but, hey, but, but, but gold got value though. So it wasn't all. It wasn't all yeah. shit. But just being real, Keys was at my birthday. Wallow was at my birthday. My song was at my birthday. David Banner was at my birthday, and I also had booked Nip for my birthday. But y'all know he passed in March. But my my thirtieth birthday. I booked people who knew more than I knew. And you can ask Keys. I sat my ass in the crowd as a student and let them get yeah. on stage. Did they motherfucking thing. And I sat there and I listened and I learned. But, bro, that's the biggest thing, man, is just attach yourself to people who know things you don't know. Attach yourself to people who are doing shit that you can't do. And then eventually, you'll inherit what they know. And the next thing you know, like, you may even supersede them. But, bro, it's it's... Bro, I said, I just feel like people add complexity to things. It really don't got to be that hard. The shit really it's don't. Hard. And don't be afraid of peer tours. You know what I mean? Your peers are supposed to teach you if they, if you know them. Uh, uh, too many motherfuckers got that ego. They be afraid to be outshined. You know what I mean? Like, right. they don't want to bring you on the platform because standing next to you, it's like a, it's like you got two flashlights. One of them, that motherfucker shine by itself in the dark. It's going to light right. up. But then here comes somebody bringing one of them halogen lights. And next to that other one that was working, that shit ain't really hitting no more. You can't even tell his own or if it's doing anything. Right, right. <laughs> so they like, nah, bro, I don't really want to get that close because people go understand that my light, they don't even need my shit. They can just go to you for it. Me, right. I'm like, I don't give a for like, I know like, I, I look at myself as an original being. So it don't right. matter who I stand next to, I'm just me. But... <laughs> A lot of people don't have that kind of confidence so that they can't move and navigate in collaboration with other gods and even to be able to learn from me. I'm like, no, the fact that you a God mean that you got value. Let's let's shit. Let's right. lock up. So Absolutely. I would employ everybody to check their mentality to be like, damn, do I even do I even have that ability to be able to connect with other gods in a way to where we can all thrive or does right. my ego uh, uh, stifling me, and that's why I'm really not collaborating and building with other individuals. Cause motherfuckers nah, think bro, it's fact. somebody else, but it ain't. No, nah, bro, that's not. Nah, hey, you ain't lying about that. That's fact. Yeah. Hey, and bro, people don't be knowing like the more you build your relationships and nurture them, it expands your longevity. Like, bro, I remember hearing you like it had to be 17, maybe yeah. early 18. I was like, I was like, bro, you next. I remember DMing that shit verbatim. Yeah. Like, bro, you the one. You next. Yeah. I ain't know you from nowhere. I just seen that video in the classroom. I'm like, oh, I'm fucking with this nigga. I like these sound yeah. effects on this shit, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hit the ass with that boom. And, and it's yeah. funny because I think maybe like 2014 or like one of them years, you had followed my old uh, clothing page. You understand mm. me? And I had seen your video. I had just looked at your page. You had the tags. You had the babies and everything. But I ain't really investigated and things of that nature. I just seen you had a following and shit. And I'm like, oh, that's what's up, man. Somebody with a following, they'll follow me and everything. Yeah. But it was interesting, though. So when you had DM me years later, I'm like, oh, that same brother that I first, that I noticed years ago. And then right. I actually looked on your page and was like, oh, he be really kicking some shit. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, I was in my own shit like. Like, right. I, I know what I be spitting. So I, I, I wasn't really looking and checking for nobody. Because at that right. time, be honest with you, I didn't think it was nobody my age that could just tell me anything. Right. It, that really didn't open the window to it's like, oh, there's other thought leaders out here really kicking game and knocking down knowledge. So I'm like, all right. That's when I connected with you and Billionaire like on the same day almost. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? But since then, I didn't see exponential growth between all of us. Like, right, right. Yo, yo, yo shit on next levels right now. And uh, yeah, sure, man, man, so I commend you for... Uh, just year to year growth. You know what I mean? It's like I don't, I think people go they, they forced to look at individuals and like what we do is it's no longer a luxury. Like this is that God wave. If if you right, ain't absolutely. on it, you on the it's ownership of slave ship. You got a board one, you Bro, get to facts. choose. <laughs> you get to choose. Man. And, and y'all been buying tickets for that slave ship for so motherfucking long. You don't want to plank on that bitch right now because it's uncomfortable. Right. Absolutely, bro. So, yeah, man, go get your post-Trump packs, man. Go get your books, man. Learn about this new wave. Update your current mind and current technology so you can actually be able to win out here, man. Bro, I've been pushing equity and ownership for a whole long time. You can go yeah. 
go go listen to uh, uh matter of fact if you just scroll down your his page and if you ain't familiar from my page or even if you are familiar but you've been taking it for granted this ain't really that time if you've been looking for guidance you understand me because even your comfortability right now can be switched up to real uncomfortable as things continue to change bro it just happens a lot bro like one thing bro people was just worried about world war three with iran and the stripper thon at the super bowl Bro, people are worried about do they have a bottle of water today and how long do they have it for their tissue run out? Life yeah. changes quick. Yeah. Hey, bro, I think when niggas be saying stay ready so you ain't got to get ready, they think niggas <laughs> trying to rhyme or some shit. Nigga, that I'm shit was playing. cute for niggas for a long yeah. time. <laughs> Nigga, that shit real life. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Right. Like, like, yeah, that shit crazy. And, 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 and you know what? Everybody that got knowledge don't actually act off of it and build something. My uncle right. told me a long time, he like, bro, your ass be philosophical as shit, but you're the only person I know that be so philosophical but really executing shit in real life. And, and, and too many motherfuckers in that, like, conscious community, they knew what was coming but never put anything in place. They was prophetic about shit. They can tell right. you to wave about 5G but then invest in one stock to put themselves ahead of the game. So it was like, nigga, you was there 10 years ago talking about the reality and the only thing you got right now is to say i told you so and so luckily it's individuals now that be like no nah, i don't want to be the one that say i told you so i want to be the one to say i'm glad you listened and i'm glad i took and heeded my own advice and built something so that's mm -hmm. where we at today with the essentials but yeah man we didn't we didn't bust them down to part one and a part two this podcast is going to be available um Part one gonna be available tonight, and y'all gonna have to wait for the rest, man, because the second part was even fire too. <laughs> you know, you know talking about? <laughs> I I think this might have been one of my best podcasts. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Some of my people that was on my previous podcast was on it, so I didn't want to say it was my best one because they looking like about my shit, bro. But this shit was really my most solid. So, yeah, bro, keep pushing it, man. Keep giving out the game to the masses. I look forward to that video game, man. Um, Appreciate it, bro. <clears throat> Not even just because I'm running in the you know, talking about with a crown on yeah. and everything. But regardless, this shit is, is, is big shifts that's coming. I want y'all to really take heed. Get on you some God mode right now. I know who used to be your leaders of yesterday. They had essentials for you back in the day. They had luxuries for you. They ain't got nothing for you right now. Just, just right. take a look at who got something for you right now. You understand me? And then when things go back to what you consider to be normal for a moment, because I believe this was going to happen. It's the, the, the wave will come down like the market restabilize just for a second in people's minds, right. not the actual market. And they go think shit is kicking game and it's smooth for a second. And then it's going right. to double back and dip and hit their ass back on the head. And they're going to be unprepared for the second time because that's how people are. So Absolutely. I would take this time to really re, uh, reprogram your habits. And that, that post-Trump pack can be part of that program that you do to reinstitute a whole new frequency because what you do frequently becomes your frequency. So tap in, my peeps. That's facts, bro. But yeah, Appreciate man, I'm tired, me, man. I've been working all day, man. I got you. I got you. Hey, like I said, y'all, y'all got 48 hours to grab that post-Trump pack at 75% off. And no pressure. Uh, it'll still be there next week. It just the same the price won't be the same. It won't be 75% off anymore. But like I said, bro, hey, I appreciate you having me, bro. Uh and I'm gonna definitely hit you so I can send that trailer to you. Uh, oh yeah, for sure. Sure. see the whole thing. All right.